Hello everyone, my name is Anil. Today I'm really excited to share some of the interesting stuff which I've been working on for the last couple of months. And uh, I actually received a lot of calls and emails after the update that I recently posted on LinkedIn on integrating SAP Fiori and SAP Business Objects BI. So this requirement actually came from one of our customers where they wanted to roll out SAP Fiori for over 10,000 users. I'm currently strategizing and implementing their SAP user experience. So this particular customer wanted SAP Fiori Launchpad as a single point of entry. So they wanted analytical apps on HANA, transaction apps talking to ECC, and some custom apps on BW. And in addition to all these things, they wanted to integrate SAP Business Objects BI reports and dashboards with the SAP Fiori Launchpad. So this is something that is possible today, and I'm pretty sure it's going to change with time with some better integration capabilities. And on the left side, you see the design time tools like the Crystal, Webby, Design Studio on the BI platform, which can connect to pretty much any data source. And you can integrate these with the front end server, the SAP Fiori front end server using the OpenDoc URLs. Before we get into the technical details on how to configure this, let me show you a simple demo on how it looks in the SAP Fiori Launchpad. All right, we are now logged into the SAP Fiori Launchpad and we already have a couple of reports and dashboards added to the homepage. And uh, here you can see we have a couple of Design Studio applications, we have some Webby reports and some Crystal reports. So let's go ahead and add some more reports or apps to these groups. Um, here you can see we have created a custom catalog um, with all the business objects content. Uh, that is with all the reports, dashboards, and you can in fact add analysis workspaces over here. Okay, now let's start with the dashboards. Let's add the liquidity forecast dashboard to the design studio group. Similarly, let's add a crystal reports to the crystal reports group. And then the webby report. Now, when you go back to the home page, you'll see these styles added to the respective groups. Let's start with the order processing efficiency report, which is a crystal report in a PDF format. And the best part is you'll still get all the functionalities what you see uh, on a standard crystal report. And if you notice, we are actually running this report in the SAP Fiori Launchpad. Now let's go back to the home page and run a webby report. Again, if you notice, you'll still get all the amazing features, all the functionalities, just the way you see it in a standard SAP BI Launchpad. Okay, last but not the least, we'll look at the SAP Design Studio application. This dashboard is running on a BEX query. Just for the demo purpose, we used a sample template that's available and you can do all the slicing and dicing of data and you can use all the standard charts and components and in addition it supports the custom components. Now for the detailed steps on the integration please refer to my blog. All right. Thank you so much for watching this demo. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions.